Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. How to use affirmations to turn around your life and heal after narcissistic or psychopathic abuse. Uh, I find what is most difficult and challenging is really in the first days, weeks, months in healing, even first years of healing after encountering narcissistic and psychopathic abuse. It very much is a journey. It very much takes a number of tools it's really your healing journey is really like building a self it's like building a house it's going to take a number of tools you know you can't if you're a construction guy uh, or gal you can't build a house with just a hammer you're going to need a hammer saw nails you're going to need a measuring stick you know you're going to need some uh, materials it's it's going to take um, a number of tools and a number of materials to help get you there and I would like to help you understand the role of affirmations as one of the tools that you can really employ after um, encountering uh, severe or profound narcissistic or psychopathic abuse and how to utilize these and to keep you on track and really heighten your awareness and um, your consciousness to really um, creating an energetic change in your body. Healing really very much is about creating an energetic change is creating an awareness change, is creating a perception change, um, an understanding, a knowledge, a wisdom. Uh, first is, you know, really when you encounter the fact that you're suffering and really in an unnatural state and really at the hands of an individual. Um, so it set you off searching, looking, you know, why am I feeling this way? Why am I stuck? Um, really, why am I... Uh, feeling uh, stunted. Uh, this should not be happening. I, I feel like I'm more than this. I feel like I'm better than this. I feel like I deserve better. And I really don't know my life purpose or I don't know my life destiny. And I feel like I've been thwarted from that. So oftentimes people ask themselves these questions and that's what sets them out on the journey. So the, the journey after experiencing profound narcissistic and psychopathic abuse, such as we describe here on the channel, it essentially is... Um, really the you know the uh, the victim mentality or once you've essentially been a a scapegoat which means someone who has berated you harshly criticized you chronically and incessantly um without without stopping without reason um without foundation without reality and oftentimes people don't realize that this is happening and unbeknownst to them they're um they're feeling they're you know that they're deserving of this criticism until they really see the light and they realize that this was at the hands of a narcissistic borderline or psychopathic abuser who made them feel feel uh and experience these atrocities of feeling less than criticized and feeling like they were unworthy um so a lot of different ingredients in this sauce here if you will um and so the use of affirmations is very much um, a solidification and acknowledgement and a mirroring of oneself back to oneself. When uh, people have encountered narcissistic or psychopathic abuse, they are missing that very validation. They are missing that validation. They're missing that hug, that um, that look in the eyes, that kiss on the cheek, um, that you know, holding hands experience that reflects back that true gratitude, that, that true thank you that true acknowledgement of good to see you today, how are you, that engaging of a person on all levels. They're missing that very validation in what is known um, in the psychological community as mirroring. So if someone were to mirror back to you, it's, you know, it's a mirroring back of your feelings of how are you. Um, it's an acknowledgement. It's a, um, an acceptance. There's just a feeling that you get of, of being accepted or belonging. Um, of, of being acknowledged as the person that you are um, beyond condition. So you don't have to bring them a coffee. You don't have to bring them a gift. Um, you don't, you know, it's just an, an acknowledgement. Um, it's not condition based. It's not, be, if you're good enough, then you'll be accepted. If you act this way, then you'll be accepted. Um, if you do this for me, then you'll be accepted. If you admire me and do this and this and this, then you'll be accepted. If you keep me at the center of attention, then you'll be accepted. All these are conditions that are set in place by a narcissistic or psychopathic abuser. And when we get into the narcissi uh, the psychopathic abuse, really there's, there's a, a high degree of uh, power over and control over uh, this other person 
specifically with the aim of really destroying them and hurting them um, to the point where they're, uh, they're, they're determining their reality for them. Uh, so it's a very insidious type of abuse where essentially this person is in, you know, really um, trying to surround them and, and take them over. Um, a very insidious uh, behavior uh, and essentially which you know keeps them feeling like they're in a relationship or connected and or bonded to this person um, because a psychopath does not have an ability to love. So this is really, if especially if it's a long range um, experience or long term experience, it's, it's a long term way of this person becoming bonded or attached because they're not able to love. They're not able to have a healthy relationship. So they will engage in these various tactics and really will uh, seek to um, corrode a person's sense of their selves, their I am, uh, you know, their own identity, their own feelings, um, being in control, being safe. So a lot of that is really attacked under uh, profound uh, psych uh, psychopathic abuse. So we look at the role of affirmations. Affirmations are a way for you to mirror back to yourself the very actual person that you are that was missing from you early in your life or in your relationship. And these begins with the very foundation of I am. I am begins in the solar plexus. Solar plexus is the seat really of your power. Um, yes, we have uh, lower energy centers which are at the base of our spine in uh, the sexual organs, etc. That's really your grounding energy. And of course you have grounding energy in your feet as well. Um, but we're really moving up from the base um, you know, of the uh, spine and up you know, through the abdomen into the solar plexus when we move into the I am statements. And that of course then sends energy upward into the heart, into the uh, vocalization center, um, you know, into uh, the, um, you know, the center of the mind and then out through the top of the head. So the energy is to be coming, you know, all the way grounded from the base of your spine or your sit bones up through uh, the center of your, um, your abdomen, you know, where your uh, digestion is and then up through your solar plexus really is where the most strength is to be coming from and then emerging through your heart center which is really the most, uh, where we have the most uh, electrical energy once you open up your heart. That is really, um, you know, studies have been done um, and observed by especially Dr. Joe Dispenza, the electrical field that's created around someone when they're in their heart space. And the very fact that people, once they're living from their heart space and their true authentic self and they're, you know, visualizing and conditioning themselves from a positive future, that there's a real change in the electromagnetic field around people and even really their, their energy. They become um, uh, less matter and more energy. So they become more energetic beings versus uh, more particle beings. So it's very interesting. So, and then of course, moving up and opening up your communication center, which of course is your, uh, your neck, your throat, however you wanna to refer to it, but that's in essence where you project from and then you're getting up then into, um, you know, the, uh, the pineal gland area, the third eye, and then, you know, coming out from the top of your, your head, which is connecting you to your higher self. When you say higher, it literally is higher. It's above yourself and you're connecting really to a higher consciousness. So your I am statements are beginning at your solar plexus and it's I am. And it's a true self possession. It's a, tu a true self empowerment. When we talk about empowerment, it's an internal job. It's an internal locus of control. It is really the place where no one else has control over you, which is very difficult sometimes for people to get into this center. Sometimes it takes uh, a repetition because they're so used and accustomed and familiarized with becoming other centered or others controlling their life, living for others, pleasing for others. I mean, it's become, you know, that other person has become so important to them that they're no longer living from the I am. They were not permitted to, they were not allowed to. So it really takes a lot of work and a lot of practice. And when I say practice, I mean consistent practice. You have to really understand how significant and so very important and how very okay it is to live from the I am. So many people who have experienced narcissistic and psychopathic abuse feel a profound sense of guilt and shame from living from the I am. They feel guilty being happy. They feel guilty being in a person with identity. They feel very, uh, 
you know, this pure ex experience of being the I am uh, has been so, um, so denied uh, from them. They have been so thwarted from it. They have been so convinced by the abuser that, you know, you, you, you're, you don't have the right to a life. You don't have the right to, uh, you know, have uh, your opinions, your own perspective, your own truth, your own reality, or to live from that, that there's something wrong with that, inherently wrong, which of course is a lie, which of course is is not the truth. Um, so that is why it is so important in um, your journey is to really get in touch with that I am. I am, and then really feeling the power of that cursing through your body. And if you say your I am statements while seated in the chair, you can feel it resonating through your feet, you know, connecting through the earth itself, and then really feeling a sense of power uh, emerging through your body and a very positive power. So when we talk about alchemy and um, you know the anger um, and frustration and confusion that arises after um, narcissistic or psychopathic abuse, it's very important to harness that and really change that into the positive. I am. And if you can even put a hand on your abdomen once you're saying this, you can really create a, a physical sensation and physical location of it within your body. And that I am should be vocalized and it should be spoken um, louder and out loud, um, louder because as you do that, it'll actually send a, 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 uh, a resonance and experience through your body, which helps become more vocalized, louder, um, generating through your body louder than the abuse. So if you think of the abuse at 10 decibels, this is just, you know, an example, but if the abuse is at 10 decibels, you have to be at 20 decibels. You have to speak your I am statements louder than the abuse out loud, projecting it. And if you have to do this in your home and you feel like, you know, your neighbors can hear you, you can do this outside in your car you know, and really do this where you get to feel that resonance. You have to give yourself this experience. You have to give yourself this gift. And the I am statements begin from the solar plexus and then are then used with such positive emotion as you visualize that, that, that ideal self of yourself really moving forward. Um, I am deserving. I am worthy. I am loved. I am love. I am a healer. I am a helper. I am magnificent. I am safe. I am trust. I am love. I am wonderful. I am these statements that resonate. I am positive. I am committed. I am talented. I am gifted. I am inspired. I live inspired. I am. I am all that I want and will be. I am that. I am that now. And as you begin to uh, recite these and resonate these, and then also simultaneously keep a vision uh, using your imagination of that experience where you want to be happy, free. Uh, a lot of people say free. I am safe. I am trust. I am. I am free. I am love. I am giving. I am okay. I am, I give myself permission to live this life and be at one with my true goodness and my true identity and my true personality and my personhood. And I give those to people who acknowledge, accept, and reciprocate this with me. And this is okay to do. It is okay to live a creative life and give unto others and then receive. And I'm staying in this place. I'm staying in this vibration of the I am and I'm uh, letting go of all the abusers and perpetrators who have sought to annihilate, taint, and tinge me from this reality. And I now uh, keep them outside of my energetic space because they have no space with me. They have no place hurting me anymore. I, I refuse to be, uh, I, 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 I refuse uh, to be violated. I refuse to be emotionally abused. I refuse. I'm 100% committed. I am no longer um, happy or confident or content being abused. That's no longer my identity. That's no longer my viewpoint. That's no that's no longer who I am. That that abused, victimized person, that is no longer me. I deserve better. I am. I am wonderful. 
So these are the I am statements, and this is what you should recite and begin, and you can create these in yourself. You can write these out. You can put these on flashcards. You can put these in your recovery notebook. You can put these on a, a piece of paper and put it on your refrigerator. You can put it on your desk. And then you can also get, you know, items that remind you of this. Um, you know, I talk about the healing gifts. So, you know, if you can pick up uh, an item that reminds you of who you are and your I am statements, it'll help jog your memory. And even if you have to give um, in the beginning, you know, uh, be, you know, vigilant and disciplined in practicing this, eventually it's going to become unconscious or basically learned and you're going to be able to live this experience that you're now affirming. Peace and harmony with you here today. Hope these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.